Hey, new scientists, Dr. Chernoff here, and welcome back to another edition of Statistics for the New Social Scientist. Today, we're going to talk about how to construct empirical distributions using SPSS. So the first thing you want to do is open up SPSS. So here, I've got the Campus Fear of Crime survey already open and ready to go. So to construct an empirical distribution, so to construct frequency distributions, proportion distributions, and percentage distributions, as well as cumulative frequency distributions, what we do is we go up to the Analyze drop-down menu, we then click on Descriptive Statistics, and then we click on the Routine Frequencies. So what we do is we scroll down, and we find a variable that we're interested in. So here, we're going to pick on academic class standing. So I click on that variable from this list of variables. I then click on the right arrow, and then we click OK. So here, the statistics viewer shows us the routine that we executed, as well as shows us that there were no warning messages about what it is we executed. In addition to showing us what it is we executed, it also produces a table for us, showing us our frequency distribution or our empirical distribution. So here we have a column of counts or frequencies for each of the different levels of the variable academic class standing. We also have a percent column as well as a cumulative percent column. So here we constructed an empirical distribution using a categorical variable. However, using the same steps, we can also calculate an empirical distribution for a quantitative variable. Now, in addition to summarizing our data using a frequency distribution, we can also summarize our findings visually. So we can construct a bar chart as well as a pie graph. To construct a bar chart, what we do is we go up to graphs, click on chart builder. You're going to get this chart builder dialog box here. Just click OK. To construct a bar graph, what we do is we click on bar, and we see these three tan bars. We click on that image, and we drag it into this field here. We then scroll down and find the variable that we're interested in. So here we're interested in the variable academic class standing. So we click on that variable. So we click on the variable that we want, and we drag it over to the x-axis. And then that's it. So we then go down and click OK. SPSS then shows us a bar graph for the variable academic class standing. So here we can visually see that there were four levels within this database. So freshman was one, sophomore was two, junior was three, and senior was four. So looking at this graph, we clearly see that seniors made up the majority of people who responded to this survey. Now, in addition to constructing a bar graph, we can also represent this information using a pie chart. So we can click on graphs, chart builder, click OK. We then click the reset button. We then go down to the pie slash polar option. We then click on the image and then drag it into this window. We then scroll down find our variable of interest, click on it, and then drag it to this field, slice by. We then click OK. And once again, SPSS produces a graphical visualization of the responses to this variable, here representing it as a pie graph. OK, and that's it. That's how you can use SPSS to create frequency distributions, percent distributions, cumulative distributions, as well as bar graphs and pie charts. The rest of the assignment is now up to you to complete.